What's up guys, it's The Wolf here. For today's video, I thought I'd put my two cents in on the controversial Phil Spencer interview. For starters, to all the YouTubers trying to defend Phil and state that this is a higher up issue and Microsoft is to blame, that Phil is still the man for gaming and he's one foot forward type of guy. Uh, the man has been spouting Xbox is the place to play. You know, it's the most powerful console, uh, more powerful than the PS5. Then when things, you know, look a little hot for Xbox, Phil begins to say they are not trying to compete with Sony and Nintendo. So what's up with the billions you're spending on making a catalog for Xbox? Cloud gaming and mobile and PC might be a serious future for the Xbox brand, and that's fine. But the fact that they're leaving behind the Xbox console gamers, you know, your consumer base that made the Xbox brand what it is today is a total slap to the face. He then goes on to say that great games, you know, 11 out of 10 titles, will not make a dramatic shift in the console market share. That is just not the current reality that we live in, that because Xbox lost the most important generation because of the influx of digital gaming and people's built libraries over the years. Newsflash, Phil. First, these 60s and 50s, you know, score games do have an impact on the brand in the same fashion if you made amazing titles exclusive to Xbox. People won't sell their PS5, that's asking way too much but people will save up and buy an xbox if the value is shown as of right now game pass is not enough for a lot of people and for anyone stating sony isn't doing so hot this year if you take away the third party deals uh what about all those third party titles hitting game pass just because sony is killing it with hogwarts final fantasy 16 silent hill 2 remake we're just going to ignore that microsoft did the same exact scenario if not better by being 15 dollars a month on game pass with mid-level AAA, not even, maybe AA titles like Atomic Heart, Woe Long. You take away Microsoft's mid-level third-party deals, what do they have? They have Redfall, they have Starfield, and they have Forza. That's a pretty weak year. I'll give them the benefit of the doubt and wait to see what Phil can do, but obviously, Microsoft in general is, is having difficulties managing these newly acquired studios. The hands-off approach needs another approach because frankly, these past three years have been rough for Xbox fans in general. At the end of the day, this interview is a PR statement. Don't overthink it. Don't go too far deep. Like Phil is so frustrated. Dude's making bank. Okay, he could leave Xbox and be perfectly fine at any moment. He could be upset. He has to do this interview to begin with, I'd imagine, with the recent Xbox image in the gaming community being what it is. He knew scrutiny was incoming, but this very well could have been more damage to the brand, in my opinion, actually. This holds the Xbox Showcase and Starfield as main priorities for the Xbox brand. Yes, if the Showcase disappoints or is just a bunch of CGI placeholders, again, and Starfield bombs, Xbox isn't going anywhere. But for many, I think this could be the nail in the coffin until a price drop happens for the Xbox Series consoles. Hellblade is another huge title that could start to turn things around, but I'm not going to be hopeful. <laughs> I don't want to get my hopes up. Again, this is Xbox. They rushed out the 360 and resulted in the Red Ring of Death. They shoved Kinect down our throats through every press conference for years when nobody wanted it. They tried to launch the Xbox One with always-on DRM features we've somehow flipped opinions on for some reason. With the Xbox One having virtually nothing exclusive compared to the PlayStation at a point, Xbox peaked with the first couple years of the 360. Now it just seems they're fishing for their next big thing Otherwise, they don't seem to think they can compete with PlayStation. I just I just don't think that's true. If they focus and use the IPs that they have bought in the correct way with Game Pass and the PC market, I don't see why Xbox can't thrive even on the basis of just Game Pass and PC with Xbox consoles kind of being shelved, which I know many are jumping the gun saying the next generation of Xbox is going to be PC Game Pass exclusive. They're going to leave the consoles behind with Game Pass showing up on Switches and PlayStation consoles and then obviously PC. But for all that to work, they need games. You can't just move your service to a to your competitor with no games. They might not even take you. <laughs> I'm all for them trying to future-proof the brand, but I do think Sony needs competition in the console race. Could Xbox go essentially third-party at some point? Could someone else take their place? Apple? Google? Seems Xbox quite possibly could have failed for the last time for many.
And like I said, many YouTubers are starting to point their fingers at Microsoft and their recent management over the years with this hands-off approach, but Phil is not excluded. Yes, he may be taking orders from higher-ups, but he's still the face of Xbox, so the criticism has to come back on him as well. We cannot just leave him out of this. Okay, so overall, looking at what Xbox has put out in the three years of the Series X being on the market, is it really an impressive lineup? Obviously, the Game Pass business model doesn't fit for everyone. For example, I enjoyed several games on Game Pass, whether it's third-party deals or some occasional top-notch AA titles from Xbox Studios, but the majority of content is undeniably AA content. With the recent news that Xbox hardware sales are down 30% year over year, is honestly very showing to not only the gaming community, but also the economy in general. People are becoming more frugal with their spending, and this is no exception. Not to mention the CMAs and the FTC essentially cock-blocking Microsoft from acquiring even more studios without yet proving that they can handle these development teams wisely. The Xbox Series console's slight but real problems when it comes to frame rate is unacceptable at times in comparison to PlayStation. Now onto what Phil said, he stated that Xbox is not in the business to outsell Sony and the PlayStation 5 or Nintendo with the Switch, stating it's impossible when your competition has so much of the market share that great games will not suddenly make a dramatic shift in market share for Xbox. This is so insane, they are pretty much admitting defeat and calling the sympathy card, when in reality not even a year ago Phil Spencer was spouting that Xbox Series X is the most powerful console that is more powerful than the PS5 which that's still arguable at this point. So we just pretty much have what both companies have released in three years, and yes, maybe you're satisfied with your Xbox Game Pass setup, but to many of these AA titles just don't cut it. And I understand, especially when you see across the board at what Sony is offering and set to release in the coming years. Hopefully Xbox and Phil can turn this around, because if not, I don't know what to expect for the future of Xbox if these upcoming titles fall flat. If Nintendo can bounce back from the Wii U and become one of the best-selling console brands, anything can happen. Anyway guys, that's it for today's show. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to join the Wolfpack. Peace.